Hello and welcome to WePC. Have you experienced playing games that the computer just suddenly turns off on its own? There may be a number of reasons behind this problem, but it's a very common for computers to shut down when the CPU temperature is too hot. So how do you lower your CPU temperatures? Sorry to tell you guys, but there isn't really a definite answer to such a question. Because of how diverse games are designed, some games may be CPU dependent, while others are RAM or GPU dependent. Not to mention that the safe temperature readings vary from one CPU module to another. No matter the case, a CPU temperature should play around 75 to 80 degrees Celsius when gaming. When the computer is doing small processes or in an an idle state, it should be around 45 degrees Celsius to a little over 60 degrees Celsius at most. Option 1. To allow for better airflow. One of the easiest ways to reduce your CPU temperature is to allow better airflow inside the computer system. There is a thing that we call positive airflow, which is more air goes into the system unit and less comes out, and negative airflow, which is more air goes out than it goes in. As well as a neutral or balanced airflow, it is best to go with a neutral airflow setup as opposed to going with either a positive or a negative airflow. Unless you have full control of each and every single fan's RPMs, having more intake fans than exhaust fans or the other way round can be adjusted and manipulated in a way to still get the best airflow. Now, option two is cable management. Unfortunately, people usually ignore the importance of keeping a tidy cable management. The fact that they take up a large amount of space is what creates a poor airflow. Taking some time to tidy your cables inside your computer is an effective way to promote a better airflow. We have made a video on cable management which I will leave the link to in the description so give that a watch for more information. Option 3. The location of your system unit. Among the common reasons why gamers have a higher CPU temperature reading has something to do with where their computer's system is located. Chances of seeing a higher temperatures is likely to happen if it is placed in a poorly ventilated area. Even with tidied up cable management and a proper airflow setup, temperatures will still show higher readings in an idle state. Make sure you move your computer to a well-ventilated area before it starts to develop problems. Option 4. Clean your computer fans and parts. Fans are what keep the air to continuously flow in and out of your computer system. At the same time, they do accumulate dust on the blades when running for a while. This is a reason why it is vital to have them cleaned regularly. A simple task like this is usually what solves a number of temperature drop problems. To do this on a regular basis to ensure you keep temperatures maintained, to do so you need the right tools and equipment to make sure you are doing it right. Things that you will need, a can of compressed air and a dust mask. If you would like to see a how-to video for this process, let us know in the comments section. Option 5. Close your case at all times. It has been debated through the years that an open computer system is far better than keeping it closed. It may seem logical since an open case allows more air, but it also attracts more dust. With a closed computer case, you are guaranteed to improve your airflow and keep dust at bay at the same time. This also permits and ensures you are less likely to clean them more often. Option 6. Apply thermal paste. Reapplying the thermal paste usually does the trick. There are cases where thermal paste is left out and dried out. This poses a threat to your CPU. Going for a better quality thermal paste leads to a better result in transferring heat between the heatsink and the CPU. If you want to learn how to correctly apply thermal paste, we have a video on this. I will leave the link in the description for that. Option seven is to invest in a better CPU cooler. Stock fans or coolers may be fine, but they are not as efficient as an aftermarket CPU cooler or fan. Getting an aftermarket CPU cooler should be preferred and considered, especially if you are overclocking your CPU. This should also reflect a huge difference in CPU temperatures. Option eight, invest in a case fan. 
If your computer has two case fans installed, then you will surely see an improvement in temperature readings if you invest and get another case fan or two. These additions ensure your computer has a better and more efficient airflow. Option nine, get a better PSU. It is also ideal if you get a better power supply. A modular PSU allows you to have full control of the wires, keeping the wires from messing with the airflow inside the system unit. Know the difference between full versus semi versus non-modular power supply before you get a PSU. And check out our reviews on the best power supply for gaming to make the right selection according to your needs. Option 10 adjust your processor's maximum power load via control panel. Among the easiest ways to reduce CPU temperatures is to reduce the CPU's maximum capacity or load. What makes this great is the fact you don't need to spend on anything at all. We have made a video on this process which I will leave the link to in the description so give that a watch for more information. So in conclusion keeping your CPU temperatures at low levels is what makes a happy computer and a happy computer is a happy life. Improvements in performance and faster response rates are among the things you will benefit from a well-maintained computer. I hope one of these methods has helped you. So guys, thank you for watching. Please leave us a comment down below and a like and a subscribe. Also, if you look over here, there will be a video that we know you'll enjoy. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.